Welcome back everybody. To start this video out, we need to address the last video. So there was a lot of comments on how to properly remove those pinion flanges. And I just want to show you what the Caterpillar Serviceman's Manual actually shows and says in there. So we'll open that up and we'll get into it. So on this page here, it shows a T-bar style puller being used to pull them flanges off. Now, after talking with Squatch253 and going back through some information that he had given me, that is a 20 ton press fit onto that tapered spline shaft. So I don't know how they ever planned on getting that off of there. I know several other guys have used hydraulic pullers and I think that's the route we're gonna end up going. Same thing, if you pull those three covers off or even two, or I suppose if you wanted to, you could even just do the one, go all the way around, pull the uh, bolts out that hold the, I believe it's a seal and a bearing in there that holds that pinion in. Now if we go over here, they actually show the removal of the entire unit. So if we go around and pull those off, that pinion will actually come with if we leave that nut and all that on there. Obviously that tapered spline is gonna hold onto there as well. I know Matt over at Pacific Northwest Hillbilly, he did the same thing. And I think just to keep this project going, that's probably the route we're gonna go. I know a lot of people have said, you know, throw some heat in there or hit the end of the puller. I just don't see it happening with a 20 ton press fit. I mean, that, that's, that's a very, very tight press fit. Now, with all that being said, I know the only way to please some of the commenters is to actually show you that I've already hit this with a hammer. I have, I have a two pound hammer here. We'll hit the end of that shaft. It's not gonna move. I've tried this already. Short of heat, I've pretty much tried everything that was mentioned in the comment section. And like I said, I really don't want to throw heat there only because that seals back there. If I need to cross-reference that to something else, I'd prefer to have something completely intact, not something that might be melted away. Um, just trying to think ahead here. I think if we pull the whole unit as one, that will be the best route. But I did want to show you that in the manual, they do show that you can pull just that flange there. It's just laughing, guys. Like I said, 20 ton press fit versus a puller that's probably designed to pull maybe a quarter of that, maybe. It's not gonna happen this way. So I think the next step is we'll take them bolts out, pull the whole unit as one, and then we still need to get these brake bands out of here. They're in the way yet. <clears throat> But we'll keep after it. By using my favorite method of jacking up the bell housing, I was able to line up three bolts. We'll get those three pulled. Then we'll jack up the bell housing again, get the other three pulled. It just sees, saves me from trying to turn the tracks.
Well, I apologize for that, guys, but the camera was right in my way where I needed to pry, so I just moved you out of the way, and then, of course, one stroke of the pry bar, and it comes right out. So, I think it would have been better to pull these brake bands out first. I can see how they're going to want to fight getting this flange over them. The drum or the band actually sits up higher than this flange is. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Well, over here at the bench, we can see actually those surfaces look really good. All the teeth look really nice, no excessive wear, no chipping. But once again, we're back into that. I don't know what you want to call that. It's it's a little better than you know, if it would focus here. There we go. A little better looking oil than what was in there, or what was in the transmission, but it's still very, very thick, and you can tell it's old just by the smell of it. It doesn't stink, but it has that distinctive smell, if you know what I mean. So I think these are going to stay in this fashion until we figure out a puller for them to get these flanges off. Dog's running into the camera. Sorry about that. But these are a minimum of a 20-ton press. That's when they assemble them. Now, to break that apart, obviously, it's going to take more than just the 20 tons. You're probably looking at maybe 23, 25. That's if they haven't been apart before and someone didn't put them together with a higher tonnage. They could have put them together at 25 tons, and then it may take 30 tons to get them apart. So, we'll pull them, we'll keep them separated left to right. Just keep working on disassembling the rest of this crawler. I'll share a sneak peek inside here. Those look beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, I have another side to do. I don't know if you guys really want to see me do the same thing twice. So, I think I'm just going to tear this one apart. And we'll bring you back after. Okay, since you guys missed out on the last one coming out, I have this one ready to pull. I haven't touched it yet. I'll grab the small pry bar and see what that does. brake band being stuck on this side. We don't even pivot up in here. I could make this a treat. And there we go, guys. Cheater pipe to the rescue. Uh, pry bar just wasn't enough. It doesn't fill the space between the housing and the back of that flange enough. Whereas a pipe, you get that in there. You can come through this rear access hole. It actually worked out pretty good. So this one's loose. We'll get that pulled out of there. Looks like we had some critters living behind this one. But it's out. Everything in there looks just as good as the other side. I'd like to thank everyone that's following along with this project. Uh, the channel's growing good. It's nice to see people interested in this older equipment. We will keep going on this. I'm out of time again for the night. So, you want to subscribe? Great. Throw a like.
be awesome. We'll catch you on the next one. Just to give you guys a heads up of what's about to come. Some poor guy gets to take this rusty track tin off. Stay tuned.